So recently I posted a video where I was showing a really simple grip adjustment to the key lock and on some, some of the white belts were like, man, we'd love to see some small grip adjustments for some of the really basic fundamental attacks that white belts are gonna use. And so I figured what I would do is give you guys, you know, a few from time to time of some of the adjustments that I've found to be really useful for uh, some of the really basic fundamental attacks that make them kind of usable later on. Because a lot of times, you know, some of the basic attacks you, you don't really use very much after that initial beginner phase, but there's some that I found that you can still use them once you make some adjustments. Today we're gonna look at the scissor sweep. So I think that everybody, if you go to like some sort of basic beginner jiu-jitsu class, everybody learns the scissor sweep in the beginning, not just because of the sweep itself, but because of this motion here, right? Like you're, you'll use this motion of moving around side to side like that. You will use that from, from now until you stop doing jiu-jitsu, which is hopefully never. So from here, um, let's talk about just getting up a, a set up with our grips first. One of the things that I see people do, uh, white belts initially, is they get really crappy grips earlier on. Remember, I, I'm really big on grips, and everything is set up off the grip. You get good grips, the move's more likely to work. So first off, if I get in here and just reach with this, this is a really crappy grip. We have to think about what are you doing, right? When I get this grip, its point is to manipulate the neck and break the posture. So for instance, if I, if I grab the neck, this would be the nogi equivalent, right, to pull the person down. In gi, if I'm, or if I'm doing this, I'm really grabbing the shoulder. That's not what I want. So what I want to do is I want to get up in here as deep as possible and t touch with my four fingers the tag back here. I want to get a hold of this and really have a good, strong grip. So when you're doing this, first thing we want to do is we want to open this lapel up and then pull. So I'm going to pull down to get rid of any slack, and I'm going to squeeze my hand up there. That's such a strong grip up in the neck, so much stronger than just simply right here, okay? Obviously, thumb, four fingers, Thumb out, right? No big deal. We don't put our finger in here because if he rolls his wrist, if I put my fingers in, get bro uh, gonna get broken. Okay, so we're here and here. Now, let's talk about the actual finish. So, as I open my guard, I hip escape or push off the hips, however you prefer to do it. I'm gonna bring my knee. I don't wanna let my knee be down like this towards his, his waist because it's very easy for him to crash down on me, okay? I like it kind of going from hip up to the chest, so kind of at a diagonal angle right here. One, this gives me really good control of the person, and also I'm constantly, I'm pushing with my knee and pulling with the, this collar here, and the reason is this keeps tension on the person. If there's a lot of slack, and I'm, I don't have everything tense, very easy for the person to, to move, right? But if I'm here, if he starts to move, I'm with him the whole time. Now this outside leg, again, has to be flat. If it's up even a small inch or whatever, then you can't finish the scissor sweep properly, so we keep it flat on the mat. Now, here's the, the, the little tweak that I think has really helped out a lot of my students and honestly has made it to where I can actually do this sweep. I can do this actually sometimes when I'm rolling um, against good belts if I do it quick enough and that is to turn and look at the time, okay? So a lot of times people do this thing or they try to sit up on the elbow here. Think about what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pull Chad off of his base, right? While Chad's sitting here all nice and tucked in uh, with his hips down, it's very hard to sweep him, right? But if I can just bring him up however it happens, to where his base is now off his center of gravity, he's no longer loaded up under his hips, very easy. So how are we gonna do that, right? We have to get a good pull. And if you think about the motion here, I have a hard time pulling like this. Sitting up to my elbow is not the best idea, but for me, I find it very helpful if I turn and look at my watch. Look what this is doing to Chad. I can really pull far, and I haven't really done anything yet. And at the same time, I'm bringing my chest to the mat, which is where I gotta go anyway, all right? So again, Open, feed, one, two, got the grips. Open, hip escape, knee slides right up the chest, foot's flat. Now, we're gonna pull to check our time. Do you know what time it is? It's scissor sweep time. That's the, that's the corny joke I use in my kids' class. Uh, they even think I'm lame, which is probably what you're thinking now, too. <laughs> From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch this collar down, because again, he's gonna try to come up, so I'm gonna punch this collar down, and when I come up, I'm not coming up to my knees here. That gives a lot of space for Chad to escape as soon as I get up. Instead, think about taking your heel and sliding it down, okay? This is more effective to me, I think. So from here, I take this heel, because again, if you think about it, I wanna, I wanna get my heels tucked under the butt. I don't wanna come up to the knees only to then have to drop my heels, right? So instead, as I come up, I'm bringing my heels in, boom, right into position, and I literally just grind my hips down, okay? So one more time from the, the top, all these little details in play, boom. And we have a good attack right off the bat there. So, for you guys that were asking for some simple white belt 
you know, moves, fundamental moves to try to make them more effective. I hope that, that, that those grip adjustments um, and those little small tweaks of, of positioning and finishing up, hopefully to help you. And guys, uh, that's it.